Here to tell us more about it is Dr. Sabil Ahmed, the director of Gain Peace. Thanks for joining us this morning. Oh, we appreciate you coming in. Okay, thanks tell me what inviting. Gain Peace is. Gain Peace is a outreach organization and we are part of the Islamic Circle of North America. Our main purpose is to propagate the true teachings of Islam that stands for peace and justice and do away with the misconceptions. Okay, and this is one of the things that, one of the reasons we brought you in, and I love this. You guys are doing a series of mosques open houses. Now, you've already done quite a few. Tell me tell me what this involves. Okay, so a mosque open house is to invite our fellow Americans, our neighbors. We open the doors. We want them to come and meet the Muslims because 67% of our fellow neighbors, they have never met a Muslim. And so they could be a fear of the unknown. So we want them to come and see that Muslims are good people. We are peaceful people. Okay, so you are inviting them in, and as you're inviting them in, what is the opportunity for people who want to come in and learn? What will they see? What will they experience? What will they do? Sure. Once a person comes inside, we create a social environment for them, right? A good environment for them, a social hour. Okay, in and which that includes? We have, uh, that includes uh, the henna design for the ladies, face painting for the kids. Okay. We have Muslim artifacts table and delicious ethnic food, right? But along with that, really important, we have a half an hour of an Islamic session, educational session, to show to them that Islam stands for justice and peace and harmony and not what they see sometimes on the media. Okay. And you have brought in some examples of what they'll see. So yes. tell me what you have here. I'll hold them. Why don't you hand it to me? I can hold them to, All right. towards the camera. You can tell me. So obviously, tell us this is one of the things they will get? Yeah. So every single participant, every guest, they get a free translation of the Quran. Okay. Because we want to show them this is uh, the source. And in, in the Quran, it speaks about being a good human being, connecting with one God. It has uh, stories of many, many prophets like Prophet Jesus, Moses, and how all of them they came to propagate peace to the people. And then one of the other things that you had um, that you were showing me right before we went on. And, yes. And, and tell me about with, uh, this one. Yeah. Right tell here, me yes. about this. So this is Muslims in America. What is this about? Yeah. So this card we specially composed is because there is a misconception that Muslims are new. We are foreigners. No, we want to show through the card that Muslims are living here for literally many centuries and the contributions that Muslims have done. You know, for example, in the war for revolution, for the independence, there are many Muslims who took part in that war alongside Washington. 300 Muslims took part in the war for, for the civil war, for the unity of the country, for the freedom of the slaves. So we want to convey that Muslims are, Amer are Americans Islam is part and parcel of the USA as old as Judaism and Christianity. Been here for a long, long time. Yes. Okay. So you have already done a series of these open houses. Tell me how they are going. The open houses are so excellently been going on. You know, we were expecting at MCC we had an open house. We were expecting 200 people, maybe 300 people. In came a thousand people, mm. right? And we were so like, <laughs> you know, so much excited. We had an open house at the Muslim Association of Bolingbrook, expecting like maybe 100 people up there. 400 people came up there, and the Bolingbrook team was so excellent, well-planned, and people were so excited when they came there to the open house. So give me an example of maybe a personal story or of some of the reaction that you've been getting. What really stands out to you since sure, you've been sure. doing this? So in the open house that we had last weekend at the Darus Salaam Masjid in Lombard, we asked one of the ladies, you know, what made you to come inside? And she said that I drive by the mosque for so many years, but I never knew that I could come inside and meet the Muslims and learn about Islam. And then she said, I came in my car and I parked in the front, but I was fearful to come inside. I did not know what to expect. Then she had the courage and she came inside. And then she said, I found the ladies, the men, the, the Muslims so peaceful, enjoyed the food, learned about Islam. I will bring my family back again. I will bring my neighbors back again. I will, I will tell my friends, come and meet the Muslims. Let's stand with them. We are all one. We are all Americans. We are all humans. So the and reaction felt so good when has we been positive. Yes. So if you could get one message out to the people who are watching mm -hmm. at home this morning, um, and maybe they don't get the chance to come visit you, but if you could get the most important message out that you would like to get across, what would that be? That message would be, Islam is a faith of peace. Learn the true teachings of Islam from Muslims and from the source of Islam, which is the Quran and the noble teachings of Muhammad, peace be upon him. 
and you will find out there are so many things in common between the Muslims, the Jews and the Christians and let's come together on a common platform so we can work together to make not just America great but the whole humanity great. And is there a website people can go to maybe to sign up for one of the open houses or to find more information? Yes, they can go to gainpeace.com slash open houses okay. or they can also contact 800 662 Islam. If they have any questions about Islam, if they want a free copy of the Quran, because people don't know what Islam is, right? So we can give you a free copy of the Quran. 1 800 662 Islam. Okay, well, thank you so much. Very nice to meet you. Thanks and so it's much. good yeah, that nice you to are. You, yes. I'm sorry, I'm shaking you, trying to shake your hand, and I'm not supposed to do that, but very nice to meet you. You guys are trying to to let people know more about this, uh, your organization and the religion. So yep. thanks again. Thanks Let's go lot. to Mark Stroll now and find out what's happening. <laughs>